Udoka as their new head coach, a league source told the Boston Globe. Udoka spent seven seasons as an assistant coach Greg Popovich and the Spurs before joining the 76ers for the 2019-20 season. This season he was an assistant coach for Steve Nash and the Nets. It's being reported by Keith Smith from Yahoo Sports NBA that Celtics all-star guards Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, along with Marcus Smart, gave Celtics president of basketball operations Brad Stevens their stamp of approval on the Udoka hire. It is time to meet Wagner Thunderbirds new head football coach Jason Starin, who was recently promoted from T-Birds offensive coordinator to field boss after former head coach Charles Bruce left to become head football coach at Brandeis High School. Coach Starin graduated from Judson High School in 1994 and was part of two state championship football teams with the Rockets. Now he's taken over a team that went four and four last season, advancing to the by district round of the playoffs. Been in places like South San Jefferson High School, Irving High School. Uh, Carrollton Turner, um, but this is this is a much more special place because, you know, when I was in ninth, tenth, eleventh grade, right? I I I went to school in this district. My my friends lived over here. Um, there's the familiarity. There's uh, my my heart is drawn to this place, and I think, uh, and I hope that's evident, you know, to the people who are who are going to come out and watch us. Dave Campbell's Texas Football Magazine predicts Wagner will finish fifth out of eight teams in the always tough District 27-6A. Houston is the hottest team in baseball, and yesterday they roughed up the Orioles at Camden Yards. Top of the fourth, Jose Altuve smacks a two-run home run to left center field to make it 6-0 Astros, his 17th homer this season. Houston came up with 17 hits and four home runs to hammer the Orioles 13-0 for their 10th straight win. They've swept their last three series, and they'll open up a four-game series tonight at the Tigers. A's at the Rangers yesterday, bottom of the seventh, tied to three, runner on second for Brock Holt. He pops that ball up the shallow left field, and that falls in, and it allows Eli White to score from second base. RBI single, the Rangers lead 4-3. to three. Top eight, Rangers flashing the leather. That ball is lined to right, and Joey Gallo makes the diving catch. Rangers win 5-3, and will close out the four-game series with the A's today at 105. There's going to be fireworks. You know, Tank's, Tank's explosive, and I'm explosive. You know, both of us are dangerous fighters. We're both undefeated, and, I mean, we're, we're both hungry. Decided, you know, to be in this position, you know, to uh, be able to get the fans what they want to see, and that's a sight, sight and fight. It is fight week for Javante Davis and Mario Barrios. Davis is stepping up two weight classes to fight the bigger Barrios for his WBA Super Lightweight Championship. Yesterday was the media workout, which is what you're seeing. Today, the final press conference between the two, and tomorrow is the official way in and David you were talking about real fighters and wannabe fighters earlier also the real fighters you see they turn this way to make themselves harder to hit whereas a wannabe probably would just they stand just like stand this. There, just yes <laughs> like well, I didn't take a long so time. I just wanted to add to that hey, it's good it's good stuff all right good stuff coming up on SA live as well Ooh, I we're like what you're wearing on your head really Fiona jealous. look at that uh, thank you thank yes. you so much Ursula now this is a fiesta themed croissant. Yes, indeed. And the man behind these deli delicious delicacies, I should say, David Casares from La Panaderia. Hello, how are you? <laughs> yes. And you said a croissant like that is very versatile, not only sweet, what we always think of, it's right? It's very versatile. So what I suggest people, if they want to try something at home, they just can get the croissants from La Panaderia and then can, they can be created. We're going to show them how we're making those ones. No, we're going to make them right now. But, uh, but yeah, they can be creative and do something sweet or something sour. One good thing about the croissants is that they are, um, uh, the dough, it's like a neutral, kind of a neutral flavor. Right. Neutral okay. flavor. Right. Yes. Oh my gosh, and we're going to walk you through all this yum yum in just a little bit. But Jen is over at the one stop shop for all things Fiesta, right? Oh yes, Amos off Fredericksburg Road and take a look at all the colorful flowers, everything you need to get fiesta fi We still have a few days left. They do this all year long, along with some amazing piñatas if you're hungry, right? And my favorite, the Frida Kahlo. How cute. All that and more. We're going to make a wreath, guys. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, and get ready for some cocktails. Don't save me the tequila. 
is here with some great libations for your Fiesta party. And no, it's Fiesta, but we are talking rodeo, and we have Jordan Maldonado here, Miss Rodeo Texas. Good to see you. Thank you. Is this a buffet table? Yes, it is. Help you know what? That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> we'll chat with her coming up. All that and more in just a few minutes when SA Live continues. Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Temperatures are already starting to jump into the 90s. Heat index values are starting to jump into the triple digits even at this hour. So we're going to see some big time numbers this afternoon and really next couple days as temperatures stay in the mid 90s. Rain chances return to the forecast late on Sunday and into next week. Looks like we'll see a pretty favorable pattern for some afternoon downpours next week and temperatures thankfully do get a little bit cooler, guys. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for watching the news at noon with us. Did Fiona say croissant? She like, did. Like you're supposed to say it? Croissant. Croissant. Okay. Looked like something fiesta is me. I don't know what it was, but if it's a croissant, it's dressed a fiesta. up like a fiesta croissant. meal. That's what it is? Yeah. Look good. We'll find out how it tastes. I now. Today at SA Live, the party continues. We make DIY fiesta rings at a local fiesta supply store. Plus, it's a Thirsty Thursday, and we make Fiesta-themed cocktails you can try at home. And Miss Rodeo Texas joins us for a game and talks about the pageant tomorrow evening. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, look at those Fiesta colors on those croissants. <laughs> Which my boys give me a hard time saying. Yes, but technically that's correct, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, the Fiesta Party continues. Fiesta de los Reyes is happening right now at Market Square. And I bet everybody out there is jealous because nobody else has those except for us. Yes, as they come in for a landing. All right, well, Fiesta de los Reyes, of course, one of the largest free Fiesta celebrations. And it has something in store for the entire family. Yes, indeed. Experience daily live entertainment, multiple stages, a variety of music, food, more food, and more food from 30 different food booths, and this free event takes place from 10 a.m. to 1 a.m. right here at Market Square. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. All right, <laughs> continuing the Fiesta Fun with today is local baker, bakery, and baker, La Panaderia, <laughs> and they have made the new themed festive, say it with me, Croissants. Croissants. Yes, that's how you do it, of course. And uh, showing us how to make them is chef and co-founder David Cáceres of La Panaderia. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm very happy so to be here. So we are going to be making these, and it is the Fiesta Croissant. Well, okay. Uh, tell us about the inspiration behind it. Well, everything we start with the um, with the tres leches. Okay. So we wanted to make something different from tres leches, and we start and we create this tres leches croissant which became very, very popular a few years ago. I can imagine because, you know, it's the combination of the good, the good French pastry and all those good Mexican flavors all. I think that right. one of the things that I love about San Antonio is that it's a blend of cultures. Mm -hmm. It's like you put everything together and then it's like a, a new thing. And definitely this shows and represent that new thing, that blend of cultures. Now, you, you put that on, that's very liquidy, but that's for a purpose, so it doesn't get dried out, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the Tresleches, okay. and it has to be a lot. That's a, that's what people want. That's what we all uh, enjoy, like, just put a lot, so it's okay. So mm -hmm. just douse it, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, there you so go. So right now, we're on TV in real life. Oops. We're still going to we rebake uh, these ones a little you. bit. Okay. So And it okay. kind of all starts with the bread, right? Yes, exactly. Everything starts with the croissant, and then we go from there. Okay. And then so it's just a little bit on the base of this one. A little bit. And what's the secret to a good croissant? We were talking about some of those other pastries that were just so light and flaky, and it's just good old butter, right? Yes, it's a lot of butter. <laughs> That's and, the then first butter. And, and then more butter. And more butter. And then uh, on top of that, more butter. Exactly. <laughs> but I think that the, one of the secrets is the lamination. So the, the, the story about the croissant is that it's supposed uh, in France long time, time ago, um, they were baking some pastries and just the bakers, they just forget to put the, the, the butter. So then uh, the dough started racing, but they realized that they, they didn't have like any butter. So they tried to put the butter, and they just they just start flipping the dough all over. Oh, and then, really? wow, that and, and got all those lovely flaky layers. Exactly. And, and the rest they say is history, right? Exactly. So okay. I think that they are not as good okay, as they are right now, uh, okay. but definitely they create something very very nice. And so you this just. Looks so 
So how much of this? Just good. side to side. Just side to side. Oh, a lot. Yes. Okay. And then the director. So as we are decorating these, not mm. only do you have these wonderful pastries, but also the brunch items, which look just fantastic. Yes. So we're <coughs> going to start with these ones. Those are the well fiesta match with brunch, right? Everybody's in oh, a yeah. festive uh, feeling, and they want to go for brunch. The first one, the ex Benedictine. Those are the ranchero ex Benedictine, and the, the variation is that we put a little bit of chipotle in the sauce and we just like pork for the base uh, those are very very nice and then uh, we come with the next one if you want to be more healthy in the healthy side um, this is the buenos dias it's a lot of avocado uh, we have egg whites you have salad and a little bit of bacon because Everybody loves bacon. Oh, you gotta have you bacon. You can't go wrong with that. Yes, no, exactly. And over there, we have the avocado toast. Uh, that one comes with a sunny side up. Uh, again, you want you are more in the healthy side, but you still want to enjoy something great. That's a great option. Uh, if you're gonna go heavier. On that side, we have the French toast, mm -hmm. uh, which I love it. It's one of my favorites, definitely. It looks amazing, right? Oh, and with berries on it, it's just, it's just so wonderful. Yes, exactly. And, and that one, it's called El Favorito because it's a round croissant. It's a different shape for the croissant. Mm -hmm. And El Favorito means, uh, well, uh, the favorite mm -hmm. one. And, and then chorizo and egg. So. Oh my goodness! Gracious. Nothing can be wrong with that one. Now oh La Panaderia, right? Yeah, this, here's this the finished product, so yes. we're gonna have to take a bite. I'm gonna need a. Okay. Do you do this with a knife? Do you just cut it? Yeah, you, you just eat it. Like oh, what, what, you just okay. eat it. That looks this messy, one needs but to go really a good. little bit in the, in the cooler. Just okay. to, but we have some here that okay, you can eat them, and they are ready to eat. So these are the ones that we're gonna try. I'll cut this. You don't mind if I don't mind if I do. So where are you located, by the way? So we have three locations: downtown, three hundred one is Houston Street. Then we have Broadway, which is the oldest of the stores, 8305 Broadway. And then we have the newest one at La Cantera. It's uh, 17080 Fiesta Texas Drive. And you can find us on lapanaria.com. All our, uh, you can order online also. Now, tell us about La Panaderia's approach to bread making. Because like you said, I mean, it's all about the croissant, it's all about the bread, right? Yes. You have a unique approach to bread making. Well, uh, we wanted to take Mexican bakery to the different level. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, people associate Mexican bakery with cheap products, mm -hmm. and, and we want to use the best ingredients, and we want to put it in a different level. So our approach is a, it's keep our roots, mm -hmm. Blend with the culture, with whatever is going on right now, and just put it with the highest quality that we can Very make. quickly, that's mm -hmm. the new one right over there, and yes. which, real quickly, describe that one. Okay, so this one, uh, it's an opera cake. Okay. And it's a new creation, it's the one that is coming soon. And it comes with a, a coffee buttercream. So we infuse a buttercream with a coffee, and then it has a sponge cake and chocolate ganache. Oh. A lot of chocolate. And then on top, it comes dine, with a Dine mirror. in, carry out. Uh, these are delicious, and we're just satisfied now for the day. If you'd like more information <laughs> on the Panaderia, head over to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, of course, Fiesta de los Reyes is happening here at Market Square, and the party has been going on and is continuing, and everyone loves their Fiesta food, right? So we want to know what's better, chicken on a stick or turkey legs? Oh, this is one of the choices. No. Um, what would you say? But that's darn good, too, uh -huh. huh? What would you say? Oh, chicken on stick. I, like, on stick. I like spicy chicken on a stick. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. That's but that's a lot of vote. people just crave turkey legs, so which is it, one or the other? Let us know. At SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see how that pits against each other. Let's see what happens. It's gonna be an interesting uh, competition <laughs> on that one. So, all right. Well, Fiesta only has this coming weekend left, and then we have to wait until next year to get that Fiesta spirit again. So, if you're still trying to get your Fiesta on, there is a one-stop shop for you. And the one, the only Jen Tobias Trusky is keeping the Fiesta spirit alive at local Fiesta Supply Store. What'd you find out there, Jen? Yes, Fiesta is in full swing here at Amos, and we have all the Fiesta supplies you need all year long. And we have Amos Fiesta expert, Fiesta fun expert, Gil Gilbert Garibay joining us now. Uh, and we are going to make some beautiful Fiesta flowers, but also a wreath, right? Yes, yeah, correct. Yes. So we start with the flowers. All right. So we're going to do flowers. So while I'm doing this flower over here, go ahead and start fluffing this one. Okay. Right. So basically you can make two flowers. You have one that's going to be a small flower, one that's going to be a larger flower. When you buy our crepe paper, we sell this crepe paper here at the store. It comes in a package like this. 
It's going to come more in. more durable, right? Yes. I can tell yes. already, yeah. The crepe paper is stronger than the tissue paper, and it's better for the flour making. So the paper is going to come like this. We fold it in half when you want a larger flour. Mm -hmm. You fold it into three parts when you want a smaller flour. Right. So I'm just going to cut this. <clears throat> going to cut it in half. He's a lot faster at this than I am, <laughs> just so you know. That's why you're the expert. So you're going to cut this in half, and then after you cut it in half, you want to cut around the edges like this okay. to make a little, like a little angle, mm -hmm. okay? And you want to do this on both sides, okay? Mm -hmm. And after you're done with this, you're going to take it apart, you're going to unravel it, and you're going to take it apart and you're gonna have pieces like this. There you go. Okay, the pieces okay. are gonna come like this. You're gonna have four sheets. You have the four sheets, you're gonna gather them and bring them together like a fan. There you go. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Easier than I thought, mm -hmm. by the way. <laughs> if you wanna add some color like this one has here, you add another little piece to okay. the middle, this, and then you wrap it with a wire. Now, I already pre-did this wire, but if you want it colored with the uh, paper, all you do is glue it in one end, oh, yeah. and then you just wrap it around Perfect. until it looks like this. Okay. And then you wrap this around here, okay. this, and there you go. And then it should look like this, and out, and then you just start pulling the edges like Jennifer did, like this, and then it comes out like this. Is that okay? Yes, <laughs> yeah, this is good, actually, yeah, this is really good. So after you're done with this, after you're done making your flowers, then you come over here to the reefs. Which you kind of started already. I already here. started this part, so um, you grab three colors. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get, grab them together. You're gonna wrap them around with a wire to fasten them together. Then you're gonna fasten it again around the reef. Okay. You're just gonna gather it and fasten, gather it, wrap it around, and just keep doing that around the reef. And, and I love these other little embellishments. Yes, that we all can this add. other little this stuff here. here. Yes, all of this you can find here. Hats, Bianca's, little little dancers. We have all different kinds of signs, sizes, colors, styles. So you everything can, that you can think of really from piñatas and then all these wreaths back here. You yes. told me everything's handmade. Everything I'm finishing here is handmade. this one here, but this all is these, the finished one, right? Yes, this is going to be what this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Gorgeous. You're going to want to add your flowers. This is gonna be the larger flower. This is gonna be your smaller flower. So okay. when you cut the Look paper into threes, this is gonna be what your flower looks like. You cut your paper Look. into half, yeah. this is what your flower looks and like. And what I love about it is you can personalize it. So when you're making it yourself, then it's it's all your own creation. Correct. And, and there's, says up here. There's no else. limit to what you can do. The only limit is what your ideas are. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, of uh, course. This is all the stuff here, we can't, we haven't even shown you the entire store, but we have more on the history coming up and we're gonna show you what else they have all year long. We had some fun looking around and shopping, <laughs> my photographer and I, and so we'll show you that a little bit. This is great, thank you. Yeah, Robert. of course. I'm so impressed in what, yes. four minutes you made that thing. Yes, that looks great, right? Jen. It's very Gilbert, nice. <laughs> all Gilbert. <laughs> he helped out. <laughs> he made it easy, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Well, we are excited for more Fiesta fun from Jen, but for now, you can get more information on Amol's party and Fiesta supply store on our website. Just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, a little bit later on in the show, Miss Rodeo Texas herself joins us for a trivia game, and we learn what it takes to be Miss Rodeo Texas. And next, it's a Thirsty Thursday with skinny Fiesta-themed cocktails that you can make from home. Oh, Fiesta Thursday, and it's also a thirsty Fiesta Thursday oh, down here at gotcha. Market Square. We've got some great cocktails, a little bit of a twist on them as well. Yes, Kristen Ortiz, a marketing manager for Milestone Brands, is here to share a few recipes you can make at home. Well, always yes. nice and light refreshing for some time, but first, <laughs> okay, talk about Fiesta. Look <laughs> at how she did those glasses with all those beautiful Fiesta colors. And it's so simple, right? And it was yeah. so much easier than it probably looks. Sure, we just dunked it in a little bit of agave syrup and mm -hmm. then dunk it in your sprinkles. 
just like that. And that's it. And do you let it dry a little bit though? Uh, a little bit, so okay. it gets tacky, yeah. it gets sticky. But yeah, that's your that's your zhuzh. Your zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. What a great idea. Sorry. So what are we making first? So we're actually doing all ranch waters for you guys. Okay. Um, ranch waters is kind of a new thing that we're doing here in Texas, and all of it is is tequila, soda, and lime. So ice so the glasses. So ice the glasses. Okay. And go. then you take your tequila, you pour two ounces of tequila. So I know we're still on the quarantine pour, as we used to call it. I got uh, you. Yeah. All you right, just kind of eyeball it. Uh -huh. um, your fresh lime juice is right there in that receptacle. Okay. And which flavor, real grapefruit tequila? Sure. And this is the, uh, that is the pineapple. pineapple jalapeno infused. Ooh. Then you top it off with the tipo chico. With the topo yes. chico right there. So you're looking at three ingredients for a ranch water. It's kind of uh, our answer to the, the vodka soda lime. Now it is tequila soda lime. And, and it's called a ranch water. And a lot of people, I was thinking like vodka tonic, but tonic's got a lot of sugar in it. So this being the sure. uh, the topo chico doesn't have as exactly. many Exactly. The only right? thing that you're adding is your tequila, which has 66 calories, 2.4 carbs for mm -hmm. our infusions. There's no carbs in our Blanco. And then you have what about 10 calories in lime juice? Okay. That's it. So it's and so I can use light it. And refreshing. That's the easy. Pineapple jalapeno. Pineapple jalapeno. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I okay. see Very a nice. little more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> lime juice. A little bit of lime juice over here. Okay. And I always encourage, especially here in Texas, we want to do a lot of ice because that's going to melt so, so fast. fast. Yeah. So fast, especially Which is if you're why by I the like pool. To throw in a little mm -hmm. extra on the liquor. Because, you know, the ice is just so diluted. Exactly. So, so that's exactly. your excuse. Yes. <laughs> that's what I'm sticking to. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'll stick with that one. All right. Do you have a favorite Fiesta drink? Oh, I think right now it's probably going to be the grapefruit infused okay. uh, ranch water because that is just it's super light, it's refreshing. It has that grapefruit mm. taste, a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of soda. <laughs> and doesn't feel heavy at How all. How many different flavors of the teal do you have? So we have, we call this the core four, okay. but there are three flavors. So you have your Blanco, right. which is your pure, uh, pineapple jalapeno infused, grapefruit infused, and lime infused. And they're infused with real fruit. So you don't, no added sugar, no added chemicals. They're really going to preserve there with just the, uh, with just the alcohol. And so what would be wonderful. nice about that too is if you had some folks over and it was you know you had it all set up there on the uh, patio. Exactly. Yes. Could, it's great for poolside. You it's could then have for, everybody kind of serve themselves just a little bit, right? I love doing a what we call like a ranch water bar, and you just set these all out, and you say you pick your flavor, you pick your soda. You pick your, you know, just grab your lime juice and it's the easiest cocktail to make. And you've got a, one that's a little bit more involved, right? Sure. So, uh, you know, we're talking about Fiesta right now, micheladas. People love micheladas, but we're doing going to do a Bloody Maria. So I will ah, there take we go, a, into the agave. a back yes. into the agave syrup because it's super sticky. Give it a little bit of a, a flare there. Would you mind icing me? Yes, just grab me a little bit of ice there. While you do that, I'll pour some michelada mix from our friends at Twang just into the shaker. And then, uh, Mike, would you pour a little Blanco tequila in there for me, please? Mm -hmm. Same about. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. There we go. Excellent. Thank you. So I will give this a little shake back here. And this is a Bloody Maria, just like a Bloody Mary, but with tequila. Oh my goodness. So there and we that's go. perfect to go with yes. all the uh, great brunch items yes, that we that have we just saw. in Absolutely. the wings right now. <laughs> okay. And all of these sure. great flavors, mm -hmm. all these great uh, libations sure can, can be found. Them. Everything can be found at dulcevitaspirits.com. You can also visit our Instagram. So that is just Dulce Vita Tequila. If you want to try to find some cool recipes, some cool videos that we've done, it'll tell you all about our tequila. Social question was yes. uh, chicken on a stick or, or turkey leg? Oh, yeah. turkey leg all the way. Oh, oh. Turkey leg. What yeah. cocktail would you turkey. serve with the turkey leg? Mm. That one. That one. It's a it's a very <laughs> it's a it's kind of a meaty hearty. drink. Yes, hearty. it's a hearty drink to go with a hearty <laughs> nice big old thing. And then if you don't have any time to make these things also, ooh. De in tequila and soda. It's already done for you. This is literally what we just made, but now you can purchase them in a can. Same thing, a little bit of lime juice, Our, a little bit of soda, and it's perfectly packaged for you. Our day is complete. Yep. You that's can it. Easy. Just cut out the middle part. That's yes. it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, for more information on Dulce Vita tequila, head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, Jan is preparing more Fiesta Crafts at Amos. Her next segment will get you inspired to make your own Fiesta Flower Crown.
And we chat with Fiesta sponsor Kickapoo, Lucky Eagle Casino, and Hotel, and we tell you how you can win big this summer. Well, Viva Fiesta! Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel is all about Fiesta right now and other events to look forward to as well. Joining me in the KSAT Garden is marketing media specialist Nikki Herrera. Hey there! Hi, Viva how you Fiesta! Doing? Viva Fiesta! Oh, it is so <laughs> great for it to finally be here. Yes. Everyone definitely. is so excited. Everyone is so pumped to celebrate. And excitement is, of course, in the air. Oh, yes. Tell me, <laughs> what does it mean for you to be able to participate? in the party with a purpose. Well, actually, we think it's very important for us to resume those traditions that, that we hold dear. Um, we were really excited to be able to sponsor the fireworks show at Fiesta Fiesta and participate with the community in all those like fun Fiesta festivities. And it was amazing to see everybody in their Fiesta gear and with their medals and just showing out, you know, especially with the year everybody had. Oh no, yeah. I mean, <laughs> after the year, you know, people are ready for this Fiesta. So ready. <laughs> and you have some upcoming casino events to look out for and big prizes too. We're talking- Very big. Major prizes. <laughs> yeah, our big one to look out for is our Viva La Noche event which um, is through the month of June and culminates on the 26th and one lucky person will be driving home with a brand new 2021 Dodge Ram 1500 or taking home their share of over $40,000 in cash. So, oh my gosh! Yes, that's, that's major prize! Major prizes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where do you recommend grabbing a bite to eat while they're at the casino? Because there are options, right? Oh yeah, of course. Um, well, one exciting thing to, to check out is our Azul restaurant is finally open. It opened up in May and we have a brand new delicious menu with mouthwatering steaks, cocktails, appetizers, an extensive wine list. And as well, you can always go to Red Sky Grill and get anything from sliders to barbecue. You really can't go wrong there. And then also we have the variety of our marketplace and IHOP available to all of our guests. Something for everyone. Something, for Something everyone. to satisfy every. <laughs> I'm palate. getting hungry right now. <laughs> it doesn't matter morning, noon, or night, right? Mm. So what else is coming up? Oh, well, one very exciting thing to look out for. I know a lot of people were asking about this is our um, Que Pasa Lounge will be opening up very soon. Um, hopefully we're thinking about the month of July. So definitely check that out on our socials and um, our website, you know, so you can keep an eye out for that one. All right, Nikki, thank you so much. Let's get the information up on the screen so you can have all sorts of fun there. Just book your visit to Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino and Hotel in Eagle Pass. Just call 888 255 8259 or visit the website luckyeagletexas.com. You can also find them on social media at Lucky Eagle Texas. Miss Rodeo Texas is here for some fun and we talk about what the organization has going on this year. Did you buy one of those More bands? More on the history here at Amos, but I have a tip for you guys. They have these all year long. Bands? You can Did they store work? your medals I on it. Just put some cardboard or poster board in here. And keep it all year long for next fiesta. Good, Great good, idea. I learned good. from Gilbert. And there was a More lot of people having to stand in. Yeah, I would say dancing in the streets, dancing in Market Square. That's right. And welcome back to SA Live. I think that said it all. Viva Fiesta. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and speaking of Fiesta and Fiesta decorations, Jen is out there at Amel's. And last time around, she mm -hmm. made a beautiful wreath in just a couple of minutes. What are you up to now, Jen? Yes, Fiesta all year long here at Amel's. But I thought we'd have some fun and go through some hats and show you what else they have. So we'll start with 4th of July. OK. And for Mardi Gras, yes, they have that too. A top hat, just in case, you know, you wanna have a fun party. What about a luau? Yes, they have that. And a Western theme, we had some fun, if you can't tell, <laughs> walking around here. And last but not least, my favorite. Look at this sombrero, isn't it awesome? It's pretty heavy for me, but so many different things and quite the variety. And Gilbert is right here around the corner. He is going to share more now on the history of this amazing place. So many things, more than just Fiesta. Right, so this is this, uh, look, this uh, business has been around for uh, over 70 years. Uh, we've been uh, in business since uh, 1949. Uh -huh. This is a third generation uh, owner. 
uh, the original owner was the grandfather. His name was uh, Julian Amos. Mm -hmm. And uh, he started with the little novelty, like little um, uh, like fake vomit and, and things like that <laughs> back in the day. So that's how all of this started. Uh -huh. And so, um, and as you can see, it's grown to product where most of the stuff is comes from Mexico. Some of the things are imported from overseas. Not a lot, but a few. Um, a lot of the stuff that you see behind me is all handmade uh, when it comes to the flowers, the reefs, the biatas. Um, I mean, the tortilla, look at these, the tortilla yes, warmers. Yes, yes. Beautiful. So the majority of the stuff that we do get is also from Mexico, across uh -huh. the border. So uh, just like behind you, there's some beautiful blankets that uh, we get. Those are very nice and colorful, and mm -hmm. I like that tip you gave me earlier. Mm -hmm. I did try to share that because you can put your medals on some of with those the, table runners. With the table runners there, that, that we, we carry as well. And like Jennifer said, we do carry product for all year round, for luau, for 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. We've got uh, Mardi Gras. We've got, uh, for football season, we've got unicorn stuff. We've got pride. We've got... Uh, movie night. So I we mean, we still have quite a selection for the Pride yes. um, as well, because you mentioned Saturday. Right? Yeah, That's, this, yeah, this so, coming Saturday mm -hmm. is going to be Pride. So uh, we do have some merchandise for that as well, still in the store. We've been hit pretty hard lately because people have been um, trying to get into the spirit since. Uh, everything's getting open more 100 percent and new year's eve you, you mentioned to me that's the, yes. that all around the country yes you all get around orders because you have uh, packets right yes all around the united states we um every year we get a lot of orders uh we're very well known for uh new year's so we have all these kits that we send to bars restaurants clubs all over the united states so amos has been known for that kind of um uh uh holiday so yeah. uh, we do get a lot of business for that as well. So And the sombreros, the piñatas, all handmade. If you look at this way, I mean, this is what we see when we walk in, mm -hmm. all the colors. Mm -hmm. I can be here all day long, Gilbert, by We the have way. a lot of customers that come in. Uh, word of mouth is spreading about our store, believe it or not, even though we've been in business for over 70 years, a lot of people are still just hearing about us for the first time. Yeah. We get about two, maybe three or four customers a day that come in that this is their first time that they've been here and they are just overwhelmed with the product. There's just, it's, they're just, it's just so much yes, for them to take. You're taking back for when you walk in here. Yeah, it's, it's a like, lot for wow. them to take in. So they love it and they're like, I love your store. I love it so much. It's so much fun in <laughs> oh, here. So yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah. so, so it takes, it takes it back a little bit. So it, you, you got to, Working here, it's it's a lot of fun. Well, it's the family history, and obviously you've been around a long time for a reason. You're doing something mm -hmm. right, and I will probably be here shopping, guys, for <laughs> a little bit. And I'm going to make Ted shop with me, our photographer. But viva fiesta, and please please come out here all year long and support a family-owned business. Gilbert, I love it here. Yeah, thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> Back to you guys. And like she said, you can spend uh -huh. all day in that place oh. looking around. And you can all, I mean, you're yeah. going to go in for maybe what, you know, a few things. You're going to come out <laughs> with so much stuff. <laughs> yes. I'm speaking for a friend. Anyway, for more information <laughs> on Amos Party and Fiesta Supply Store, just head to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, next on the show, we chat with Miss Rodeo Texas about the pageant tomorrow evening and what's happening now. Plus, we play a little rodeo trivia game. Well, the stock show and rodeo may seem like it's long since finished and far away, but the rodeo's activities and duties are all year round. And joining us right now is Miss Rodeo Texas herself, Jordan Maldonado from Right Up the Road in Bernie. How are you? I'm doing great. How are y'all? Fantastic. Now, you have been Miss Rodeo Texas for a couple of years, right? Yes, ma'am. I was actually crowned back in June of 2019. So these are my last two days of my reign. So and instead, it's just a year. I mean, yeah, you got the extra time. You done, or you, would you go on for forever? So I actually competed for Miss Rodeo America back in December of 2019, and that's the highest you can go in the Rodeo Queen pageantry. So I'm done with pageants now. Yeah. I'm retiring. So you're retiring. Um, tell us what the job entailed for you. So it's 
pretty much the middleman of rodeo. Mm -hmm. You get to watch the rodeo contestants in the arena, but they don't really have time before or after the rodeo to interact with the fans. So that's the part that I play. I educate the fans and I sign autographs and uh, try to teach them as much as I can about rodeo and let them know uh, what all they watched and uh, try to teach them about the competitors that they watched. You go to every corner of the state, every rodeo around there, you're the one that's taking the American flag out, but it's not your horse, is it? So you gotta be ready to ride anything, right? Yes, sir. So the horsemanship part of the pageant um, really shows what girls can ride any horse that they're thrown on. Uh, we receive draw horses, so we have no idea what we're getting on. and. The judges get to judge us on how well we are prepared. So when we go to rodeos across the state, stock contractors will provide us with horses, and some of them are not necessarily broke. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you just never know. So you just yes, have to be ready. But you do some roping, right? Yes, ma'am. I team rope and breakaway rope. Okay. Okay, what was your reaction when we announced your name two years ago? Um, I didn't know what to think. I was only 19 years old, and that's the youngest age you can be to compete in the pageant, and I had no idea what to expect. I knew I had a great week, but there were some other really great competitors that I competed alongside for the week. So I was really proud of myself and excited to take on the next year of my reign, and it turned into two years. Okay, and of course, you are gonna be there, right? I will be there, yeah, 15th year <laughs> uh, with the privilege to uh, MC with all those wonderful folks out there. So, all right, you know a lot about rodeo, we don't. <laughs> yeah, because you have to know everything about rodeo, right? You said you had basically a zillion flashcards and everything so that you were prepared, and you've got some questions for us right now. A little trivia game, <laughs> if you will. Let's get that first question up on the screen. Okay, what is the official sport of Texas? C. C. Correct. <laughs> well, yeah, it is I the official sport. I know sport. we were raising our hands or, or yelling. <laughs> we can just yell. We can just yell. Okay. Okay. We do? Okay. All right, next question. She has to finish uh, When hand. and where was the first national finals rodeo? I'll say San Antonio. You're correct. It was in 1959 in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> oh, don't look so smart. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> What is the Texas motto? Uh, friendship. Yeah, I agree. Yes, it is friendship. Okay. Aww. <laughs> and if people would like to attend, the uh, pageant is tomorrow night, correct? Yes, sir, the pageant is tomorrow night. I believe it starts at seven and we're still, still selling tickets, so if you'd like to come out and watch. Over there at the Hilton by the airport. Yes, sir, okay. airport Hilton. She will be there to pass along the, uh, not the crown necessarily, but just the- The pin, uh, the, the Texas pin. pin. <laughs> So. And you well, will be there you. to guide them a lot. I will, I will be there. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, for more information on Miss Rodeo Texas, just head to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Jordan, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, look and feel the way you want to this summer. Testosterone therapy can help you get back on track. That's next. Well, it's heating up outside. Summer, of course, is right around the corner. And guys, if you want to get that beach body and summer confidence, you may want to start with Mayo Medical Group. They have helped thousands of men here in San Antonio, and they'd like to help you as well. And joining us now is patient treatment counselor Manuel Chapa. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Okay, I'm thinking get beach body, go to the gym, but with guys 35 and older, lack of energy and maybe gaining a little bit of weight, you say that could be low testosterone. Absolutely, yes. So those those are some symptoms of low testosterone, amongst other things, of course. Um, but yes, as far as you know, beach body goes, and everybody they just want to shred. And then with COVID, this entire year, and you know, people just starting to come back out with the vaccinations and just getting comfortable, you know, being outdoors and living life again. That's what we're here to do. You know, um, if they're hitting the gym, they just can't get that that body weight off that they may have put on from COVID. We want to get them to come on in. We want to hear what's going on. Definitely get them started on a program for sure, but we want to have, have them come in so we can have them start seeing the results that they, that they want for that summer body. Okay, well, speaking of results, what kind of results can guys see from testosterone therapy? So honestly, of course, not just the, uh, you know, the, the physical part as far as the body goes, but, but the mental aspect. So they get better quality sleep. They just feel better. Their, their mood is elevated. They have more energy. They have more drive. They have more focus. So if anything, you know, the physical part comes with it, of course, with, with the testosterone therapy, but the, the real the real main thing to focus on here is their just energy, their, their mood is elevated, their mindset is just that much better. So especially when they start hitting the gym, 
they have that extra umph, you know, that extra drive. They just, they want to get back at it. They want to get that, that summer body. Okay, so then how long does the whole transformation take? The umph. Um, usually, honestly, within the, the first month to, to uh, six months, depending on, again, the person, everybody's tailored differently. Of course, there's other things in, involved as far as the, the gym and dining, of course, but testosterone therapy would definitely help you get there. It, it speeds up the metabolism. Again, it helps you feel a lot better. And then once you're hitting the gym, you'll start, you'll start noticing the results definitely for sure. Okay, big question. Is it covered by insurance? Absolutely. So we are networked with most insurances. All we have to do is once we get the client to come on in, you know, we'll have their blood job, we'll have them fill out some paperwork. And then what we do here is we reach out to the insurance. We see what their benefits are. We see what they're going to have covered. And then we just take it from there. Okay. You got a big discount going on right now. What can the first 10 guys to call get? Yes. So the first 10 callers will get labs at $49. The, the, the labs and you know seeing the provider usually is about a 300 plus dollar value so they are going to get some great savings with that again just reach out to us even for for the ladies out there you know that their, their man may not necessarily feel comfortable we want to hear what's going on with them and we definitely want to get them started and get them feeling and looking a lot better okay well just to recap what uh, manuel just said for the uh, first 10 people to call you're going to get a consultation with a medical provider including lab testing for just 49 dollars, and that's about 250 dollars in savings give them a call at 210-361-1203 and for more information visit mailmedicalgroup.com manuel always nice chatting with you sir always a pleasure thank you until next time Come on, SA Live, where are you going to find all those fun festival foods when Fiesta is gone? The Snack Shack has the spicy and sweet creations to satisfy your needs. Plus, the party isn't over just yet. How you can help these young dancers and enjoy a day of Fiesta fun. That and more tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. Earlier, we pitted them against each other. Turkey leg versus chicken on a stick. Now there are five votes from turkey leg here on set with one chicken on, yeah, we're, we're five votes for chicken on a stick. Okay, yeah. that was what? That was turkey. The first one it said turkey. you get more bang for your buck as uh -huh. far as the, the meat on the turkey okay. leg. And this there. is Vanessa, and she says turkey leg. Okay. Wow, another one for turkey leg. Oh, okay. onion blossom. Michelle, onion blossom and turkey leg. Oh my goodness. Okay. Jacob, turkey on a stick has more meat. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. So it looks well, like the turkey leg okay. won. Weight wise, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, there, there's a lot in there, but hmm, that's interesting. Now, if we all voted, only uh, Kristen Ortiz mm -hmm. with Dolce Vita Tequila, who mm -hmm. brought me a drink too, by the way, uh, said turkey leg, but the rest of us yeah, here, that's Dustin five on votes. And Patrick, what did you vote for? Turkey? Oh, that's two turkeys two on turkeys. set. Two turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from the rest us, of us are naturally, chickens. so. Okay, interesting. <laughs> One more day of Fiesta. We have so much more coming up tomorrow. Enjoy all of the festivities. And of course, Viva Fiesta. Viva Fiesta.